What is going on, my fellow Taurus, kings and queens, sun, moon, rising, and venuses? We're going to look at what's coming in for December. What's going on with your love life? If you're new here, smash that subscribe button, turn post notes on so you don't miss out when I upload. Greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. However, Taurus, what's going on with you? What's coming in for your love life, baby? What's going down? Ooh, eight of cups starting it off with the, the Knight of Wands, but the Five of Cups at the end here. Hold on. Because that Ace of Cups here with that Knight of Wands, I feel like someone was coming at your way like, hey, what's going on, baby? What you trying to get into? But is it because they're trying to avoid and distract themselves from, from the past, or is that you? Hold up. Judgment card, oh boy. Oh boy. And guess what? You got the five of wands. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here's the thing. That five of wands is definitely some drama, some arguing, some fights. It could be a friend, family member, or a third party love interest. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be though, but it's under that knight of wands. Hmm. So, here's the thing. They might have some interest in you, but if someone's not seeing the value that you bring to the table, the fuck you gotta do with that? That ain't your baggage. Go work on yourself. Don't bring that shit around here. Fuck you mean. Because that judgment is definitely spiritual testing you, asking you if this is what you really want. Is it? The hangman under the five of cups. So you're definitely observing, you're keeping it at an arm's distance, you're trying to make the right choice you feel called to, and oh boy, the three of pentacles. Here's the thing, this can mean building that solid mission connected base to the source and being about it, but it can also indicate some hidden agendas, so be very careful about that. Ask yourself what it is, how you feel about that, because guess what though? You gotta have some love and hope here. Have the strength and courage. I feel like this is indicating if you make that call with that hey man of being like, yeah, no, nah, I'm gonna keep this at a distance and let the arrows of love go where they need to go and have the strength to overcome this is what I'm picking up for at least 80 to 90% of you Tauruses right now. You ain't playing this shit with nobody right now. Especially in the time we're in. We ain't got time for that, man. At least be honest about it. Don't come around with the hidden agendas acting like I'm a fool because, bitch, you wild. Bitch, you crazy. You smoking something. And you need to get off of that. And guess what? That ten of wands energy, that burden, the heavy weight, you can no longer carry it. Let that go, baby. Oh, wow. The magician when I split the deck. So you definitely manifested this. But with the magician, I feel like this is your opportunity to really ask yourself, why and how did I manifest this instead of pointing fingers and take accountability, responsibility, and shift your frequency and your energy so you can manifest the magician energy of what you truly want. That's beautiful right there. What's the spiritual advice for you, Taurus? What's the spiritual advice? Oh, wow. Be secure and know your worth and value and don't give a fuck about what anybody got to say because you ain't playing games. You're secure in who you are and you ain't tripping. It might piss you off, it might have your feelings hurt for a bit, but you ain't you ain't tripping in the long run. You know your worth. Hold that shit valuable like a pentacle, you know what I'm saying? Bitch, you got options. Oh my god, I didn't even want to pull all these cards and guess what? Three cards. The lover's card. Boom. The sun card. Boom. Bitch, you got options. And you got the true ability to manifest your soulmate, your twin flame, whatever you want to call it, that has the essence of their full hearted self. Fully naked, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and not afraid to be who they are. And they're going to create something beautiful with you. It could involve creating multiple income, you know, financially secure and being secure in yourself. And I feel like you've got plenty of options that can bring you that value. You just got to have it in yourself and remove yourself from these situations. That is very beautiful for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venuses. Hopefully you had a wonderful day wherever you are. And stay blessed as always because that is all I got for you. Gemini is coming up next. So stay tuned. Later.